gospel story we have may come as unique and may come as unusual in terms of uh, how uh, Jesus heals the, the blind man. Recall that there are some other instances in which uh, Jesus heals people by just uh, one touch. In fact, we have a story about a woman suffering from hemorrhage for 12 years. Jesus did not touch this woman. Instead, the woman made an effort to touch him, even just to touch the tassel of his cloak. And then this woman got healed. We see in the story, it took second attempt for Jesus to heal the blind man. What does this story tell us? The story tells us about our own human situation. Perhaps at times we want the Lord to, to touch us because we want to be, to, to be relieved of anything that may be so hard in us. We want to be healed. And perhaps at times we can get uh, an immediate relief. But there are times also when it may take a time. And this is the temptation. And this can come as a temptation because we can just give up. It makes us also to think about how we deal with people. At times, we feel like giving up on people because we don't see any progress or improvement in them, notwithstanding the care and efforts we are showing them. We have to think about how God deals with us and also how we deal with people. We do not just easily give up on people when we don't see anything that is positive or anything, any changes that is happening in them. Because God does not give up on us so easily. God gives us opportunities, gives us time to be fully healed of anything that uh, may be heavy on us. If God does not give up on us, then we should never give up easily on others. Because if God does not give up on us, because He loves us, in the same manner that we do not easily give up on others because we care about them. The love that we have will make the difference. But if our love is gone, it's so easy to just give up. Let this love be the motivation why we do things for people.